Hey everyone, uh, Simon back again here for the Modern Awakened Perspective, your map for the path to enlightenment. And this is my second video of the day. And this one's about uh, Michael Avenatti, the creepy porn lawyer, uh, back in the news. And I thought I'd do a little update on what's going on with him. Uh, before I get into the video fully, uh, please give me a thumbs up if you like this content. Also, uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you hit the little bell, you'll get notified when I put out uh, new videos. Uh, all these things help people find this sort of content later down the road when they go to search for it. So uh, let me go ahead and get into the story. As I said, uh, Michael Avenatti is the subject. Uh, creepy porn lawyer Michael Avenatti uh, was indicted on 36 counts on Thursday. Uh, his charges include fraud, perjury, failure to pay taxes, embezzlement, and other financial crimes, as reported by the LA Times. Now, Avenatti is accused of stealing millions of dollars from five clients and using a web of shell companies to hide the theft. Now, he reportedly hid a $4 million settlement from a client who was a mentally ill paraplegic. Talk about low. That's crazy, man. This this guy will stoop to nothing. Uh, now, Avenatti also supposedly took a settlement from another client and used it uh, used the funds to buy a private jet. The jet was uh, seized Wednesday from a Santa Barbara airport. Uh, that's that's only right in my opinion. You steal money, you don't deserve to keep the rewards. Now, for these crimes. Uh, Avenatti faces 335 years in prison as a maximum sentence. Uh, also, in a separate case, as I reported on earlier, uh, Avenatti faces over 47 years for his attempt to extort Nike for $20 million. He had stated that he had info on how high-ranking Nike officials were paying star basketball players to steer them towards colleges, uh, you know, the schools that had Nike contracts. So, uh, I guess that was frowned upon, uh, his extortion attempt there. And, you know, Nike's a giant corporation, so eventually he uh, he's burned enough bridges that maybe he's going to get caught up. You know, he was representing uh, a lot of people in uh, high-profile cases, uh, deep state people, whatever. And so... Um, I guess they finally decided to throw him under the bus because he had gone too far. But he faces 335 years in prison for one case and 47 years for another case. So I don't think he's going to have his, his uh, charges dropped like Jesse Smollett did. Now, um, Avenatti, uh, previously known best for being uh, the creepy porn lawyer representing Stormy Daniels, uh, said he's a victim. Uh, because he has made many powerful enemies uh, during his years of representing David's versus Goliath. But to me, it sounds like his dirty dealings has caused a lot of enemies to uh, come after him. Uh, he said he int intends to plead not guilty, and uh, he looks forward to the entire truth being known. And uh, with uh, him and his deep state uh, ties uh, and his connections, who knows what that means? That may mean uh, a lot more truth being exposed and coming to the light. And uh, as these stories continue to mount and all these things do get exposed to the light, uh, this is what I tend to think of. Bread and circuses. This is uh, an old saying coming from Roman times when to uh, appease the public, uh, they would offer them basically bread and circuses just enough food so that they weren't hungry and, and rioting and, and, and circuses uh, to keep them entertained so that they wouldn't worry about all the, uh, the hard work they had to do. Sounds like today to me, uh, same kind of program going on where you have people are barely scraping by, they have enough food to just barely get by and uh, the quality of the food is questionable and then we have all these uh, you know, people distracted by sports teams and uh, MMA fights, which, you know, I watch myself. I can't say I don't. But uh, 
I think this is sort of the same program that they've used uh, over a, in other periods of history to keep the mass uh, public in check and from looking uh, behind the curtain to see who's really pulling the strings. But I do believe more people are starting to wake up and starting to figure out uh, that uh, there is a swamp that needs to be drained. So anyway, uh, as usual, the comment section will be open. If you guys like to uh, agree or disagree with anything I have to say, uh, please feel free to comment and uh, we can have a discussion between everyone. So uh, that's the story from my perspective and I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks a lot.